Hello, my name is Donna, otherwise known as Fru Fru the Balloon Guru, and I work as a balloon artist. As a balloon artist, I twist animals at parties and I decorate parties. I'm a home-based business, so I have a little bit of different duties than someone who has a retail site, but at home I, I do marketing every day for several hours. Uh, I have to keep up on social media, check messages, prepare for upcoming events, order product, keep my eyes on my competitors, and I also have to study a lot to learn new designs. It can be very stressful, especially if you have an event like a wedding, because you could do one thing wrong and ruin the entire event for your customer. But the, when it's the lowest of stress is after you get the job started, everything just flows and you can relax. Whenever I'm twisting balloon animals at events, I charge by the hour. Um, the most you can do really is like three hours before your hands just start really hurting. So you don't want to try to book any longer than that if you want to do a good job. But if I'm working on a party decor, I could work for days and days in advance preparing little aspects of the design and then on the actual day you put it all together. Sometimes you blow it up at home and transport it or sometimes you work on site and build it right there. It just depends on the situation. As far as educational requirements are concerned, there's not a college degree that you can get, but there are certification programs out there that will teach you all the skills you need and provide all the marketing training that you will need. But it won't hurt to do well in school so that you have your basic mathematic and art background that would uh, definitely, definitely help boost you in this balloon world. The other skills that you absolutely have to have to make it in this business is math. Yes, you are never getting away from math. You've got to be able to add, subtract, divide, estimate, and measure every day. You have to be creative. You've got to be able to fix things when things aren't going the way you planned, and you've got to do that under pressure. And you definitely need discipline. I'm a home-based business, so you have got to be able to concentrate on your business while you're at home without getting distracted by life that's going on around you. One thing I did not expect when I decided to go into balloons as a career is I didn't expect it to be so much work. I thought it was going to be all fun, and it is, but it is also a lot of work. The very best part of my job is when I look into the eyes of a, a child or a bride and see the amazement at the work I've just created for them. That is just the best. The worst part of the job is stage fright before you go on, the pressure to perform. I mean, everything has to be perfect. One little thing can go wrong for a bride and you have ruined their entire wedding. So the pressure is really hard. Um, but you deal with it and you get through it. My final advice? Well, there's a few, so let's start with one. Join a balloon network. They've got resources for you, marketing, learning, everything you'll need to be successful in the balloon business. And number two is have a backup plan. Balloons can be a real money maker but you should probably have another source of income behind your back as you're getting your business off the ground. And number three, a wise balloon person once said to me, you are only as busy as you want to be. And that means the more you market, the more customers you'll have. And when I say marketing, I'm talking Facebook, Instagram, web pages. You've got to be on there making yourself visible to the public. Um, and you've got to always network with other industry professionals and with potential customers. And my final piece of advice is to practice, practice, practice. When I started out in this industry, I was using one balloon per design. And the kids were like, oh, thanks. 
but now I use five balloons to make a snake and everyone is, whoa, look at that. The bar in this industry is always getting raised and you have to continually keep up with what everyone else is doing if you want to be competitive.